Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number 13 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is Hysterical Slashers, and I will be giving my review for Club Dread. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. Flat out side splitting. Hilariously funny. Welcome to Coconut Pete's Pleasure Island, a booze-soaked vacation resort where high-spirited fun soon takes a deadly turn, leaving the island's hilariously inept staff to battle a machete-wielding maniac. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. With this week's Slashback Challenge theme of hysterical slashers, I chose to watch and review Club Dread basically because when I think of comedy slashers, this is the first movie that comes to my mind. And one of the first things that I think about when it comes to Club Dread is the fantastic island location. It's a perfect location for a slasher movie. And in this movie, the island is known as Pleasure Island for good reason. And I do find this movie to be very funny, especially in the beginning. I also consider the humor in this movie to be mostly crude humor which doesn't bother me whatsoever, but I could see where it could possibly be offensive to some people. Something I find to be really interesting about this movie, and I have always felt this way, I feel like the movie starts off really funny, but as it moves along, it seems to be less funny, in my opinion. Now, I'm not really for sure if it's just me and I get too focused on the slasher part of the storyline, but I do find the movie to be a little less funny as it moves along. And I'm really curious if anybody else feels the same way. So you guys will have to comment below and let me know. But with all that being said, I do find the ending to be extremely funny. Overall, I feel like the movie does a pretty decent job with adding humor to a slasher movie storyline. I had briefly mentioned the set location. Pleasure Island looks like a place that you could have an absolute blast. At the beginning of the movie, we have a fresh batch of partygoers arriving at the island. And shortly after their arrival, all communications with the outside world is cut off and all the boats are gone. So there's no possibility of escaping. Something I feel like the movie did a really good job at right away was set up a lot of misdirection and give us a lot of options on who the killer could be. And what's really interesting about this is the killer isn't really focused on the party goers. He's more focused on the island's working staff as they are instructed to carry on about their normal job routines as they normally would, which is basically make sure the guests are having a good time all the while they are getting picked off one by one. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in Club Dread and right away the standout character for me in this movie is not even one of the main characters, but it would have to be Coconut Pete, played by Bill Paxton. He's one of my all-time favorite actors, and he does a fantastic job with playing this over-the-top character, delivering such classic lines such as, Make sure you're having sex with some of the guests. Some of them ain't half bad looking. So the main characters of this movie storyline would be the Pleasure Island working staff. Now, each one has a different job title, and I'm not going to get that deep into it, but all these characters are played over the top, which works perfectly for this movie's humorous storyline. Now, I don't necessarily have a favorite character amongst this group, but I will say I feel like the movie does a pretty good job with focusing on each individual character, so you know each one pretty good. I thought all the acting was pretty good for what it was. Like I had said before, all these characters are played really over the top, and for what it is, I really enjoyed it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. So I really like the look of the killer in this movie. It's nothing threatening or menacing looking, but I feel like that's the point of it, and that's what they were going for. The killer appears to be wearing a hooded poncho with the face blacked out. It's a really cool look. The killer's weapon of choice is a machete, and I feel like that's a good choice. And as far as the kills go in this movie, it has a pretty decent body count. All the kills are violent and gory. We do have some off-screen stuff. There is a really fun campfire story about the legend 
of the painlessless killer that roams the woods on the island. And there's no possible way that I can give a review for Club Dread without talking about my favorite scene in the entire movie. And that would be the Pac-Man maze kill sequence. This section of the movie is absolutely fantastic. It plays on video game nostalgia. It's funny. And it has an excellent killer stalking sequence. And in my opinion, it makes Club Dread an absolute must-watch for fans of comedy horror. I'm going to give Club Dread a 7 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Club Dread. Or just let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.